Hey guys, welcome back to another Coupon Topic Tuesday. If you're new to this series, I do have a playlist that I will link down below in the description box of some other couponing topics. So let's go ahead and get started on today's topic. So today's topic is how to remember all your usernames and passwords. So with couponing, pretty much every website they want us to log in in order to print coupons. There are some that just allow us to print, but majority of them want us to create an account and log in. And it does get confusing to try to remember all of those logins and the passwords. So here I have a couple of tips for you. So here's my first idea for you. You can get like a cheap little Dollar Tree notebook and write down each of the websites like Kellogg's Family Rewards or Kimberly Clark and then write your username and password and just keep everything in a little notebook and then stick that notebook wherever you keep your coupons. This is not personally what I do, but this is just an idea. I've heard some people talk about doing this before. So this is definitely the option I go with mostly. So if you're given the option, allow your personal computer or your phone, and don't do this if you're at a library or something, but if a little pop-up box comes up saying, do you want us to remember this password or do you want to stay logged in, just go ahead and click yes. It doesn't, uh, it's not going to hurt anything, and it makes it for a quicker, easier time when you want to just go to a website and print off one of their coupons. The next tip I have for you is to get an email account just for couponing. So you're gonna get all kinds of newsletters and some of them are gonna have some great coupons that they email, email to you. So it's definitely great to sign up for emails, but do not use your personal account or your work account. You don't want all that stuff jumbled in together. So yeah, definitely get an account just for couponing and if you've already started and already given your work email or whatever you are able to go into your account and change your um, email I would think most uh, accounts would allow you to do that so keep that in mind as well so nothing is more frustrating than if you want to just print a simple coupon and you go to log into your account and it's saying, I do not recognize this username or password for this username is incorrect. And it's like, oh, well, what is it? I don't know. I can't remember. So here's a tip that I have started doing. Now, do not do this for personal, like your credit card account or your banking. Do not do this. But for your own you know, all your couponing sites use the same exact username and password for each account. It makes it quick and simple. If your computer or phone doesn't automatically recognize it or you didn't save it, you remember right away what your username is and what your password is just to get you in there to log in. And like I said, do not use this for personal accounts. So when you're creating your username and your password, um, your username, make sure you are always put a capital letter and a number. You don't really need to do a special character in your username. They rarely ever ask for that. But when you do your password, make sure you use a capital letter, a number, and a special character. That way, um, if you go into a site that requires those things, that way your password's already, because you don't want to have a password, and then you have to change it for a different site that requires a special character. So just go ahead and when you do that, create a username and password with those things. So here is an example. Now this is not my email, and I'm sorry if this is yours. I had no idea. I just tried to come up with something that went along with the guidelines. So with your email, you want to do something long enough, but with a number in. So couponer for life at yahoo.com or whatever you want to do. Just make sure you throw in a number there. And then your username, if you can, try to make it the same as your email without the additional at yahoo or at gmail or wherever you're at so just like capital letter couponer and a number for life make sure you include capital letter and a number so with your password if you can i would go ahead and just try to make it what your email is it kind of helps um just connect things in your mind use a capital letter like 
the capital letter for couponer, a number for life, and then use a special character like a money sign or a exclamation mark, something like that that will stick in your mind of what it is. I hope this video has given you some tips and tricks on how to remember all those logins and all those passwords for all these different couponing accounts. And if you want to see more couponing type videos, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.